Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of a Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Solo Leveling Episode 12, the season finale of Solo Leveling. And in the last episode, we had a crazy fight. Probably my favorite fight of this entire Solo Leveling season so far. We got to see Jin Wu versus Ignis, and Ignis beat him down, man. It was not even close. Now, Jin Wu clutched it in the end but it was looking very Ignis sided for so much of that fight and even though he beat Ignis the competition isn't actually over because that was only the first step now we're in the middle of the second step which is more of a like survival mission where he's just being barraged by all different kinds of knights and mages and assassins and he has to survive this onslaught and then once he can do that and that's when we get into the job promotion. So I'm excited, man. Let's see. If they if they were saving this moment for the finale, then you know it's got to be big. At first, when I heard job change, I thought it was just going to be like, oh, he's a fighter. Now he can be an archer or now he can be a mage. But it seems more like it's going to be a job promotion. Like instead of being able to switch his class, he's going to be able to upgrade his class. So things might get crazy here, but we'll just have to watch and find out. So if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I drop a new solo leveling video. And with that all out of the way, Let's dive into this. All right. Battle's still going on. Look, they're waiting for him to get up. Or dodging them. If you can run away long enough. He's going for it, though. He's beating him down. We know his fatigue's building up. So he can't do this for long. Dang. Oh my god! Even though he's so tired, he's still moving out here. Yep. Oh, his knuckles! He's wearing him down to the bone, man. Is he remembering all the trash everybody was talking about him? Oh! Yep, he's remembering why he's here, why he's fighting so hard. Nah, you gotta keep fighting. Don't give in to it. No! He would never say that! Oh, his past self. This has to be a spell or something one of the mages are casting. Dang, don't fall for it, Jinwu. You got that dog in you now. Time to unleash it. Oh yeah, I forgot. They set off to the island. Yep. So I guess they went back more so for closure. Oh, don't, don't believe him, <laughs> Jin Wu. Oh, that's a big dude. Where was he hiding? Jesus. These are those intrusive thoughts taking over, man. Yeah, that feeling of helplessness. He was given a second chance after that, though. No way! Yeah, I was about to say, dude, that is mad lucky if that saves him. No way. 
Now he's gonna teleport it. No way! Interesting though. Interesting twist. Let's pause real quick and digest that for a second. That's a really interesting twist because it makes sense if he wasn't able to, like, I guess he did take down Ignis, but even he, after he was done, he was like, man, I was really getting whooped. Like, I don't know what happened at the end there, but something just clicked. And he knew that Ignis was definitely above him when it comes to skill. So if he struggled so much there, it kind of would have been crazy if he survived not only that, but also the second part of the challenge. So them having to teleport him out of there for safety, or I guess him conveniently being teleported out of there, it's more realistic and it's also still interesting because now we know what's waiting here. Freaking, uh, what's that dragon's name from Yu-Gi-Oh? Slyther or Slyther? Whatever it's called. <laughs> that thing's gonna come out of the sand again. And Jin Woo's in no shape to run right now, so... It's not like he got a get-out-of-jail-free card. He just kind of... Got a bit of a change of pace here. Which is cool, because we don't need another OPMC anime. At least not this early into the season. There are still clear obstacles he can't overcome just yet. What? Oh, okay. That's interesting. No, oh, there's more! <laughs> They're like, alright, the first time we went easy on you, but you missed two penalties? Now we're really kicking into overdrive. This is cool, though. Is he actually going to take him out this time? He might just take him out and then chill for the rest of the time. Here's his sister again. Jinwoo's still not home? Dang, no way? It's really like that? <laughs> A guardian teacher meeting? And I'm guessing, obviously, since her mother's in the hospital, he's the guardian. Yeah, he really is just chilling for 10 minutes. Yep. See what it gives him. The last one he used gave him stealth, right? So this one. What skill is it? Ooh. Ruler's hand, I forgot, I forgot. What? So he has telekinesis! That's a cool power that's not, like, super OP, but I think it could definitely come in handy. Especially, like, when he got the teleport stone knocked out of his hand. If he could just, you know, teleport it back, or telekinetically grab it back. Oh, he's back in the... Wait a second! Wait, I'm confused. I could have swore last episode there was a time limit, wasn't it? Didn't he have to survive fighting those guys for a certain length of time? That was the whole challenge, and they would keep spawning in until then? Interesting. So we have some old gen hunters and some new gen ones. From the water. That's not good. Oh my god, I thought that was the helicopter for a second. Oh my... Dude, I told you. The question of the day, the last episode, was out of all of the different classes, which one do you think would be the most annoying? And I think this is just another reason why mages suck, dude. He's over here spawning in more knights. So that's why he's not getting XP or anything, because he thinks he's taking down new enemies, but he's just taking down basically like imposters this whole time. Maybe not this whole time, but... Take out the mages first, dude. Then you're good. 
Did he get them? Yep. And now they should disappear. There you go. There you go. Already making use of that ruler's hand. Oh, I like that shot right there. That was clean. Woo! Not the force crush. Whoa. Big boy. Dang, this dude looks sick. He's a suit of armor made out of, like, suits of armor. Bob and Weave. There we go. Ooh! All three of them in one blow, man. That's how you gotta do it. Ooh! Shut the hell down. Dang. Oh, look at how dense he was. That was like blowing a hole through a mountain. Now, where's the reward? There was a time limit. Or What the heck was that? What? Was that counting how long it took him to beat it? There you go. Alice is complete. The Angel of Death follows. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whatever path the player takes, it is littered with corpses and the stench of blood remains. So what, is he going to become like a death knight or a necromancer or something? In addition, the player craves great power and blazed his own trail without relying on others. Oh, okay, so they're basically explaining his journey up until now. Its thirst for strength calls forth the ghosts that roam the Valley of Death. The ghost summoned by the- What? The ghost summoned by the Shadow Army will follow the player's orders as the Shadow Army and make way only for the player. It's gotta be something like Death Knight or Dark Knight or something like that. New job class? Necromancer? What? That's crazy! They're making him a necromancer? I mean, it's interesting. It, I, it depends. It depends. I mean, Jin Wu, his skills that he already has are pretty broken. So once he starts getting necromancer skills, I can imagine them being pretty freaking crazy. If you would have asked me last episode, I never would have guessed this. Will you accept? No. <laughs> Are they going to re-roll if he says no? <sighs> a hidden class? You still want to accept? You might as well accept it. If it's like a rare class that not too many people get, or that no one has, you might as well take it. Just respect your skill points. <laughs> it's that easy. Holy crap. That is like the perfect class for solo leveling. Go into a dungeon on your own, summon a bunch of minions to clear it for you. See, he's got the best of both worlds, man. He can summon minions to fight for him, and he can handle his own if it comes to it. This is... This little side storyline going on here is so interesting, because... They're putting so much focus and attention on this island and the events that happened on this island. That just lets you know that whatever is going to happen this time is going to be insane. So because he cleared it so quickly and because he didn't use the teleport stone and because of his HP and because he did. Oh my God. No way. How many bonus points did this man get? He's going to max out on day one. He looked like a shadow monarch. Dang, he just instantly double promoted. That's crazy. Now this makes more sense. Shadow extracting. Oh my god. Don't tell me he can get stronger by extracting their souls or something. Arise! 
Oh my god, he said the thing! This is what you guys are talking about! In the comments, man, for the past, like, two, three days, people have been saying arise, and would get, like, 30 likes on the comment. <laughs> and now I see... He's risen the dead. Shadow storage. Whoa, whoa, okay. So, shadow extraction extracts mana from a body whose life has come to an end and transforms it into a shadow soldier. Okay, so this is basically the staple ability that comes with the necromancy. And then shadow storage. Shadow soul... What? Shadow... I'm guessing that says soldiers. Yeah. Shadow soldiers can be stored by absorbing them into the caster's shadow. What stored soldiers can be... What does that say? Resurrected? Or reabsorbed at any time? I had to use freaking 200% brain power to understand that. It was so blurry. That's cool though. So he can instantly, like, summon souls to fight for him, or he can store them to bring him out later, like Pokemon. No, no, no. We're not doing this. Okay, they're level 1, they're pretty weak. I was about to say, if this man can summon mages that can summon even more <laughs> soldiers... <laughs> now the, the show's over. This is the final season. He doesn't need anywhere to go after this, dude. If you can summon creatures that can summon other creatures, that's when you've gone too far, man. <gasps> Ignis! No, no! No way! But, I mean, Ignis might be Igris. Sorry, Igris. Might be all that you need. Now they're fighting side by side, bro. Now oh, they're gonna throw down. It failed! They said it was possible though. Oh my- <laughs> This is actually a video game, dude. He's refining his weapons right now. And if he fails all of his attempts, his weapon's gonna break. Failure again. But of course, you know the last one's gonna work. Because anime. I'm your new king. Oh, he's speaking to him directly. Defend the man who stands before you. Okay, so interesting. He wasn't failing before just out of random chance. He was failing because Igris was rejecting him. And here he is. Ah, oh, man. He still got that red... Oh my god, the cape was so clean! Only level 7 though. Hey, we gotta grind up some levels. Oh my god, imagine if he had this when he fought Cerberus, bro. Oh my god. The potential for this ability is insane. Basically, no matter how powerful his opponents are, if he can manage to beat them, he basically recruits their strength over to his side. But, obviously, there's a chance for failure, but he still has the chance to bring them over to his side. That is insane. There you go. You got yourself a loyal soldier right there. Dang. They all followed suit. He's loving this. You see that smirk? He knows. Hey, you know what they say. There's strength in numbers. And he's got a hell of a lot of numbers. <laughs> Alright, so that was the end of the episode. And my question of the day for you guys is going to be... Um, if we were to rewind a couple episodes back. I think this was first brought up. This job promotion was first brought up last episode or the episode before. So if I were to take you back to that time. When you first heard about Jin Wu getting a job promotion, what job did you envision him having going forward? Because I definitely did not expect Necromancer. That's one of the last things I would have expected. 
I thought, I think he started off as like a fighter, so I thought he would have become something in the like assassin area. But let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. And with that, I am going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.